Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about nine facts about Mount Sinai and see how many of these you actually know. Mount Sinai is really something that's spoken about a lot. It's one of the most famous mountains in the world, but you really don't hear people talk about it. And there's a good reason for that. One of the nine facts. How many do you know? Well, before we find out and get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. So, Mount Sinai. Where is it? Why is it famous? What events happened there? And what is the one thing that is absolutely fascinating about Mount Sinai that's rarely spoken of? Let's find out. Number one, it's where God communicated the Ten Commandments to Moses. And this is first mentioned by name in Exodus 19. And we read that the newly freed Israelites gather around the mountain a month and a half after leaving Egypt and three days of preparation, God himself descended upon the mountain and they would follow his ways and he would care for them. And the Ten Commandments were communicated as well. Number two, the tablets were etched on Mount Sinai. After the oral giving of the Ten Commandments, Moses ascended the mountain yet again, remained there for 40 days to learn from God and be given the two tablets. Unfortunately, when he came down, they were worshiping a golden calf. He broke them. And then after two more jaunts, 40-day sessions on the mountain, Moses came down with a second set of tablets. Again, the writing etched by God himself onto the stone tablets. Number three. The entire Torah was given there. So the entirety of the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, the King James Bible, were given to Moses at Mount Sinai. This is where the written instructions were given. And in fact, the oral traditions not recorded in the Torah are known as Halakha, the Moshe Mi Sinai, or the law given to Moses from Sinai. Number four. That's where Moses saw the burning bush. That's become more famous because of the Ten Commandments movie, but it actually occurs in the Old Testament. And before he began the task of leading the people out of Egypt, he saw the burning bush, known as a thorn bush. And speaking from within the bush, God told him he was to free the slaves and take them to serve God on this mountain. Number five, the rocks... Of Mount Sinai are etched with thorns. Now the Hebrew word for thorn bush is sne, S N E H, which is etymologically linked to Sinai. Now, according to Rabbi Moses of Narbonne in the 14th century, quote, the stones found at Sinai have the image of the thorn bush or sne on them. That is why it's called Sinai. This is a godly image. I have split the rock in half and found the image of the thorn bush on either side. I broke one half into pieces and the thorn was again found on the inside of both parts." End quote. Number six, Mount Sinai is actually a humble mountain. If you compare it to a lot of the other famous mountains in the world, Kilimanjaro, Fuji, and so forth, Sinai is pretty humble. It's linked again with the lowly thorn bush, and only Sinai, which was not remarkable in any way, is very famous. And for this reason, it's said that God chose to reveal himself upon Mount Sinai, giving us an eternal lesson that humility is key to accepting God and his wisdom. Number seven, Mount Sinai is also called Horeb. At times, you see it referred to as Horeb, and so you may wonder which name is the real one. Well, researchers say that the real name was Horeb, and it was also called Sinai, relating to the word Sinai, S-I-N-A-H, hatred because of the events that happened there caused others to be jealous of the chosen people. Now, on the other hand, some researchers say that Sinai was the actual name and it was referred to as Horeb, related to Korva or destruction because the revelation at Sinai was the catalyst for the ultimate destruction of idolaters. You decide which one is right for you. Number eight. Elijah visited Mount Sinai. After the momentous events at Sinai, we also 
breathe that God issued the command, you've dwelt long enough at this mountain, turn and journey. And from that moment on, the people never went back to Sinai. However, in the future, we read about a visit by Elijah the prophet, who was running from Queen Jezebel, who, as you know, was evil, and her name has become pop culture. Now, after Elijah tells God about the people's sorry spiritual state, the Lord showed him a strong wind, an earthquake, and a fire, followed by a still small sound in which God was found. Number nine. Guess what? No one knows where Mount Sinai is. Unlike the Temple Mount, which remains sacred even though the Holy Temple was destroyed, Mount Sinai didn't retain its holiness. We find little importance of it attached to the location, to the point that no one knows with certainty where it is in the land or on the map. Now, it has been suggested when we're referencing the story of Elijah that there's good reason for this. And sages and researchers say that we're never meant to remain at Sinai, artificially elevated by the shock and the awe, I should say, of meeting God. Rather, the purpose of Mount Sinai is to take its dramatic spiritual energy and focus it on our day-to-day -day lives here and now. How many of these facts were you familiar with? Let me know in the comments. What's the lesson from Mount Sinai? I kind of like number nine, where we're to learn lessons from the things that have happened there. For me, one, uh, not breaking the commandments, not worshiping idols, knowing what should take priority in my life and what should come first, and that all the time when things happen that are miraculous, people come to forget them in the places they happen. So that's what I take from Mount Sinai. But these facts are pretty good. I think the one that most surprised me, and I'm in awe, is that no one knows where it is. So if you kind of think about other things that have happened in the Bible in certain places and no one knows where they are to this day, well, Mount Sinai, the actual Mount Sinai, fits right in. And as an extra bonus, Mount Sinai is actually one of the smallest mountains out of all the famous mountains. So that's it for now. My name is Julie. Continue to be happy, healthy, whole, and wonderful. See you next time.